What is up, guys? Wraith here, Great Bearded Gaming Society, and we are uh, freshly off of taking a beating. <laughs> uh, we were actually taking out a, uh, a thorn succulent, and we got jumped by a saber tooth kitty, and then our feign death failed one time. Which we scroll, yeah, we failed one time, so she almost got us. But we had already used our men, so kind of a tough spot to be in. We're gonna sit there, and we also uh, to make matters more amusing, we uh, we are out of bandages, so we can't bandage ourselves currently. However, we have uh, been really working through the level just trying to get our skills up. We've done uh, quite a good amount of work with our one hand blunt. We're about 20, 24 ish off there, and our dual wield is going up as well. So we're about 23 off there. So we've made pretty good progress. I think maybe we could finish it before we level. And the one thing that will save us here, possibly a little bit from. Oh, there we go, mend. All right. Let's sit for a little while longer. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we did, uh, it's all about making things shoot red sparkles at the moment, and it's been, uh, been a lot of fun. What we might have to do, you know, for science, of course, is actually do a real comparison between, uh, like how long the fights are taking with our dual wielding versus our two-hander, like how much damage we're taking, that kind of stuff. We shall see. I try not to get too, uh, too min maxi, but, uh, it is nice to see, or fun to see, you know, bright red sparkles everywhere. But we're going to put ourselves back together again, and then we're uh, we're going to head back out and try to get some more combat action going on, see if we can't uh, get some more skills and some more experience. So stick around for me, guys. We will be back in just a few minutes. All right, guys, we're back a lot sooner than we thought we were going to be because uh, we got a random tell from uh, somebody who's been watching the channel, you know, gave us a little shout-out, and uh, it's going to run by and give us... Uh, Give us the buffet, so we got some shaman love coming our way from Schlarp, the troll shaman. So, of course, anything and everything we can get. Like Talisman of Tuna. What do we got here? Some health. Dexterity. Oh, yeah. We are going to be... We're going to be tearing some stuff up. We are going to be tearing some stuff up. Now, right now, he's... Uh, we were... And actually brought up the interesting question, because I... He, you know, I remember that, like, on live... They like started level capping buffs where you couldn't overboard on the buffs, but I don't think they ever did that on P99. So, oh, apparently they did. Apparently they did. I didn't think that made it until uh, to the live servers, but uh, apparently I can't get the top of the stack. But hey, you know we get some cool buffs. We will never turn down cool buffage because that will turn us into a murdering machine out here with some of this stuff. But uh, stick around for a few more minutes. We'll get all the way buffed up. And then we'll go see what we can do with these combat sticks after that. Where'd he go? There he is. So we were freshly buffed up. Then it's time to bash some stuff. Let's see, uh, see how we do. We've got the regen. We've got a bunch of stat buffs. It's, uh, what is it? Spirit of the Wolf and some haste. So we should, uh, we should tear through some stuff here for a little bit and hopefully get some crazy skill ups as we try to get our uh, red sparkles flying in the air. Look at the skills just flying. I love it. I love it. And I said with the regen, it should drastically reduce our downtime between fights, which will be outstanding. Yeah, this is actually right around here. This is where we got in trouble last time, by the way. This the one that started wandering off. A cat wandered near us. And we got beaten up. We never even got to finish our uh, our thorny succulent that escaped. Because the cat just jumped us. And they just still do entirely too much damage. But we're going to jump back up here. Let the region do its thing. And jump back in and get some more fights in. All right, so this is somewhat amusing, guys, because we've got a full complement of shaman buffs from our buddy Schlarp. We're sitting up there behind us, and now another shaman just showed up, just randomly jumped by. He started throwing some buffs at us, too. <laughs> but the, the skills are flying, guys. We are uh, quickly catching up, and with the extra haste buff, man, we are a machine gun with these staffs. We are just hitting so fast. Again, you know, we don't hit that hard compared to what we were doing, obviously, with the two-hander, but... Just the non-stop barrage of blows. It's just been outstandingly amusing to watch. 
especially when we get uh, some decent procs here and there and mix it in. But we're, uh, I mean, we are going to march down this level. And having so helps as well, obviously, because then we can, we can run up here instead of having to fight things kind of where we find them. There's something about the rhinos. Like, we don't really get, like, the combat noise with the rhino. Like, that's one thing I like about the succulents, is you actually hear yourself cracking them with the stick, because you get that thump noise. But, yeah, we are scooting right along. I mean, dual wield, then one hand blunt. We are getting really, really close to getting these guys. Because I think it's, like, 190, 195, right? And then what we determined? Yeah, 195. So, I mean, we're getting there. Let's hit our men so we don't get in too much trouble here. Ah. Now that is actually the only we have noticed that seems to happen. That we, we get out of range of stuff sometimes. And I'm not sure whether it's like a proc. Because I don't, I don't really think we proc'd on this guy yet. But we tend to get out of range some. It doesn't seem to have happened that often with the uh, with the two-hander. Oh, uh, another free heals. This is, yeah, this is good times. Eh, don't know what that is. We're going to leave it there. Let's go grab them. Now, these guys are my favorite. Because you get to hear the thump noise when you crack them with the stick. And it is outstanding. Crack. Alright, guys. So, we, uh... We are knocking on the door to maxing out some skills and knocking on the door to maxing out this level. There you go. Dual wield just hit 200. So dual wield is now at 200. And our one hand blunt is now 195. With uh, with the sweet, sweet buffage that we've gotten from Schlarp, we have just, we are a machine gun with these sticks that has just been outstanding. We're, uh, I mean, basically, with what we've been able to accomplish this afternoon, like, I'm literally going to... Oh, look at the sparkles flying. Oop, oop. No, I'm actually surprised we didn't get it on that one. So let's keep this gravy train rolling. Ow! <laughs> Dude, turn and stun us. But no, it's one of those situations where it's, uh, yeah, you know... Turning down a free babysitter, I think not, because having those buffs has been outstanding. We have moved through the skill ups, we have moved through the experience. He's even been throwing us some heals between fights, which drastically reduces our downtime. You can just look at the machine gun blows. That is just outstanding. It's absolutely outstanding, guys. I mean, it, oh, apparently our duels can go even higher. I thought 200 would be the cap for right now. Goes to show what I know after all these years, which is apparently next to nothing as we still learn new stuff every day we play this game. But yeah, I mean, this has been such a an outstanding opportunity right here. I think we're, I'm just going to pitch some of the content I had previous this week and focus on what we've got here because like I said, I'm pretty sure this one or the next one will ding us to 39. Of course, by far the biggest character we've ever had in the challenge. And here's the scary part. There we go. Said, so, but here's uh, where was I? Oh yeah, the other uh, interesting thing, scary thing, however you want to put it, is we're actually closing in on, uh, believe it or not, one of the bigger characters that I have on the server. Because I play so many servers, or so many servers, I play so many characters, I don't really worry about maxing out levels anymore. I mean, it's, you know, there was a time. Now I just, you know, I play for fun. I've got tunes here. I play EverQuest. I play EverQuest Live. I play EverQuest 2. We've got a group of friends right now. We've actually gotten on the EverQuest 2 servers, and we've been making uh, making some progress there. We've made some new characters to team up with, as well as some uh, big characters we've been running around with some of the new content that's been around. So, yeah, I play a lot of EverQuest. But we never worry about getting, uh, like I said, max level. When the server opened up, I opened up with a mage. A very good character, I felt, to, to solo with new things on my own. But uh, he's like 45. 
I mean, that with, even at that level, I mean, he's been able to get us a lot of stuff. We've been able to do a lot of tweaking. When tunes fall out of the challenge, if we decide we want to keep them, you know, he's able to get a lot of stuff done for us. But uh, this guy, this guy might walk him down, guys. We might end up with a challenge tune, walking down a non-challenge tune for experience. So I'm not sure if that says I just like the challenge more so than normal EverQuest anymore, or I'm just a bad EverQuest player. I don't know. I don't know. But we were 39. We were remaxing skills again already, which is outstanding. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep this gravy train rolling for kind of as long as we can or until we get wife aggro. So uh, stick around for me at least one more time. We'll check back in and uh, see what our final tally was. All right, gang. Well, we have had a dynamite day of farming. Not only have we uh, gotten lots and lots of skills lots of skill ups we've maxed out our uh, one hand blunt we've maxed out our two hand we didn't do a lot of work just yet on uh on our hand to hand these things still hit a little bit too hard to be playing around with some of that stuff right now however the other thing that we did accomplish aside from all of that was that we managed to get a ton of experience we've been rolling these shaman buffs hard and fast while we've had them again i cannot uh i cannot thank folks enough for swinging by saying hi and I, we're still getting some do good levels up which is nice but uh just those buffs just made the farming just fly today we were able to do so much which is just outstanding but uh oh, no, looks like we got uh doliak hollering at us in the channel as well at the moment but yeah guys it's been a it has been a dynamite session like that it's uh Mostly, we're just going to erase a little footage we had with what happened today because so much good stuff happened today. So, uh, I think we'll go ahead and put an end cap on it, like with what we've got so far. But as always, guys, if you like what we're doing, hey, please don't forget to like, comment, maybe smash that subscribe button down below. We do love to hear from everybody. If you got a good place for us to go adventure for some gear, for some loot, good experience, maybe just some cash, let us know. We'd love to hear about it. But until next time, guys, stay safe, stay distant. Stay in EverQuest, and we will catch you guys next week. Night, guys.